Jeff here with Mr. Hardware. Today we're at poolside and we're focused primarily in this video on the air compressor which is going to provide the forced air to our carbureted hopper system. Now the side of me here is an air compressor and it's very important to understand um, the, the features of the air compressor that are going to be able to drive the correct amount of airflow to the uh, carburetor hopper. The first thing you want to want to note on this air compressor is the size of the air compressor. This air compressor here has an eight gallon tank and it's important when you're supplying the forced air to the carburetor hopper to have a large tank because the tank is going to supply all that compressed air to the carbureted hopper which we're going to use to drive the media through the hose. So you're going to need a sufficiently large uh, uh, tank on the air compressor. The other thing you really need to have on these air compressors is a certain amount of pressure. And the pressure that's rated on this particular air compressor is 125 psi. And the 125 psi is usually uh, shown on these dials here. Now that pressure is going to be too much pressure if we drive it directly to the carbureted hopper. So therefore, in this case, we take the 125 psi pressure and we step it down through our regulator, uh, which is the subject of a subsequent video, and that regulator is going to supply the needed pressure and airflow that we need to drive the carbureted hopper. So again, on this air compressor, we have an eight gallon tank, we have 125 psi. Now the other uh, important feature on these, and in fact the most important one, is the CFM. Now CFM stands for cubic feet per minute, and really what that means is, that means that this machine is able to sustain an airflow of a certain amount of cubic feet per minute at a given pressure. So for example, this machine here will deliver 4.5 CFM at 90 PSI or and or it'll also deliver 5.5 CFM at 40 PSI. So really what that means is that at a constant pressure this machine is going to deliver a constant flow rate of uh, 5.5 CFM at uh, 40 PSI. So that's a very important thing because when we're operating the carbureted hoppers we need to sustain the airflow continuously in order to drive that media through the hose and get it to the surface where we're working. So the most important metric here is not just the, the size of the tank and the pressure, but also the CFM. So please do some research when you're looking for an air compressor to make sure that it has a high enough CFM to deliver the airflow to your carbureted hopper. Now, you're gonna notice too that um, as the tank fills up, the eight gallon tank fills up with air, it's going to transfer or discharge this air to the carbureted hopper. It's going to reach a certain level in here when the air goes down to where the motor is going to kick in, and that's normal. That's called the cut-in uh, pressure. So these machines are going to cycle in and out of the motor, in and out, in order to maintain that cubic feet per minute at that pressure. So while you are pulling the trigger and working with your carbureted hopper, the air compressor is going to um, feed the air to the hopper and the motor is going to kick in and out and it's going to maintain that uh, airflow to the machine. Now if you're going to use a smaller air compressor, one that's not going to uh, keep up, what's going to happen is the motor is always going to be trying to uh, keep up with the demand of the airflow and it's not going to reach it. So in that case you need to, uh, for that reason, you need to make sure that you have a sufficiently large tank uh, good enough pressure and the cubic feet per minute required to uh, sustain the airflow operation for the carbureted hopper. Now one thing to note here is we do have our setup here. The hoses usually come separate from the air compressor so don't forget to get a hose and they come standard. Uh, when you get these you can get the air attachment and for the carbureted hopper operation which we'll go into more detail later what we're going to do is we're going to transfer the 125 psi into our regulator gauge here by simply using the quick connect and this is going to deliver the airflow into the, the carburetor here and that's what's going to sustain the airflow while you're operating. So I hope this video helps uh, 
in describing and explaining the operation of the air compressor and how important it is to choose the correct air compressor when you're using the carbureted hopper.